As a creative person, developing a space that is efficient, productive, and enjoyable is essential. Studies show you can increase your productivity by over 40% with a dual monitor setup. So in this video, I'll be breaking down my minimal dual monitor setup and how I use it for video editing, video conference calls, and more. I'll do my best to answer any questions in the comments and I'll place links to all equipment and gear mentioned in this video in the description below. To start this off, I purchased a FlexiSpot sit-stand desk. I went to Home Depot when I bought a butcher block with my desired dimensions, in this case 32 inches by 6 feet wide. I then sanded for a smooth finish and then stained to bring out the natural wood tone as well as protect the surface. Next, I wanted a desk shelf to give a finishing look and I ended up finding this shelf on Amazon for, at the time of shooting this video, $57. It may not look as premium as the Grovemade desk shelf, but it looks pretty identical to it and way more affordable. I recently dealt with sciatica, so I decided to invest in a proper chair that promotes healthy ergonomics. I went with the Herman Miller Aeron. It has many different adjustment points to suit my needs. It looks very clean and minimal and it has a solid overall build quality. Considering the time I spend in this chair, I don't regret this purchase at all. This whole setup is powered by a 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. Coming from a 2019 MacBook Pro with the Intel chip, let me just say this has made a huge difference. Now we all know that the Macs do not have a plethora of ports, so to combat this, I pair it with my CalDigit TS3+. Plus. Now we've done videos on this before and you can check those out in the description below. This virtually has everything I need from an ethernet port, USB ports, SD card reader, and a display port. On my desk, I utilize two 32 inch ViewSonic monitors. One is connected through the display port on the CalDigit while the other one is connected straight into the MacBook Pro. If you connect the secondary monitor into the CalDigit, the computer will not recognize it. I used to use Apple's Magic Mouse, but my hand would cramp after hours of editing. So I switched to the MX Master 3 mouse. First off, the form and shape is more ergonomic for your hand, making it more comfortable to use. And through their software, you can reprogram all of the wheels and buttons to whatever best suits your workflow. Now for my keyboard that I use, I actually use two of them. The first one is the Nufi Air 75. It's very slim, it's minimal, and doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk. The only downside is it doesn't have a number pad, and that's when I use my Keytron K4. This one isn't as low profile, but it still keeps a clean desk space. Now both of these are Bluetooth, you can also use a cable, and they both work for Windows and Mac. Now on my left side, I still have my Apple trackpad. I use this mainly to quickly navigate to different desktops on my MacBook, as well as navigating through my timeline in Premiere Pro. It's not essential, but I have it, so I might as well use it. Now all of this sits on a felt pad that I purchased from Grovemade. I went with Grovemade's felt pad because I know they make high quality stuff, and this is something that's gonna have wear and tear on it every day, and I didn't want something breaking apart that's cheaply made. Now when you're video editing, half of your video is audio. You can watch a video that maybe doesn't look the best, but if a video doesn't sound good, you're more likely to stop watching it. Because we want you who are watching our videos to have a great viewing experience, I use my HS5 speakers that I've had for years paired with an 8 inch subwoofer. That way I can hear plosives or any unpleasant frequencies and treat it post-production. And these get routed through a Focusrite Scarlett Solo. I think this interface is one of the best budget interfaces out there, so if you're in the market for one, I highly recommend it. On the wall in front of me, I placed a sound panel that I got from GIK Acoustics. This helps to minimize echo when monitoring audio from my speakers, as well as help the microphone that I am currently using to sound more clear when recording. The microphone that I've been using on my setup is the Samsung Q9U. This is a great plug and play USB mic that does not require a sound interface. And to support this mic, I'm using the Rode PSA-1 because of its length and how easy it is to bring the mic in for use and to push it away to keep my desk space clear. Now the camera that I use for zoom calls is the Sony a7 IV. This is a little overkill, but I already own and use for YouTube videos. Plus, Sony makes it very simple to use this camera as a webcam because it plugs straight into your computer using a USB cable and you don't need any other software to do so. 
When on calls, I pair this with the G Master 16 to 35. With my camera being an arm length in front of me, this gives me the focal length that I need, as well as that blurry background with the aperture at 2.8. And this whole setup is connected to my desk using a camera desk mount with a small rig ball head attached to it. And I have a continuous power adapter to make sure my camera stays on for those zoom calls that go a little longer than expected. Again, for reference, I'll have all links in the description below. As far as what's around my desk, I've been slowly building it out to make it my own. On either side, I have two cabinets I purchased from Ikea. This helps keep things organized as well as hide any clutter that I have lying around. On top of each of those, I have two plants I purchased from my local Home Depot and a Philips Hue lamp. I believe this one is called the Iris and this can be controlled through my phone and change it through all the various RGB colors. And above this, I have a few records that I framed that I enjoy listening to. If you would like to see my IKEA desk setup, you can watch that here. If you would like to see how I utilize my loft as a YouTube studio, you can watch that here as well. <laughs>